I have asked artificial intelligence or if you do not want to call it like that AI to create or give me an insight on the perfect type of F1 track. Now, of course, in this modern day, we're living in 2024, soon to be 2025, as we're past the midway point of the year and we're in the mid month of the year out of the 12. Uh, we are progressing and we are progressing with computers and well, we shall be using computers to create the perfect Formula One track using racetracks around the world. Now, the software I'm using, of course, it's the very famous and well, popular, uh, most popular uh, artificial intelligence program, Chat GPT, which a lot of us have used. I've used it before. I have made a video using Chat GPT before, and we shall be using it to create an insight. Now, from what Chat GPT had said, creating the perfect Formula One track by combining elements from iconic racetracks from around the world involves integrating the best features that challenge drivers and entertain fans. Here's how it could be designed, according to ChatGPT. This one is a bit weird, uh, I was not expecting this. The start-finish straight to come from the start-finish straight at the Circuit de spa francorchamps in Belgium. I know it's a bit of irrelevant information, but as I was recording this, this is just about 30 minutes before Belgium's second game of Euro 2024 starts. Coincidence, if you ask me. But that start finish rate at Belgium is quite short and not really that good. But at least the fans get to get, get have a great view of the action as we've seen before such as 2012 when there was that very very massive accident at the start and we'll we'll see but i like where the ai is going with this but turn one will be inspired from suzuka this is a very good one i mean suzuka's turn one is quite challenging and i think a lot of us do know how challenging it is i mean you're trying to go side by side trying to make up positions and well the inevitable happens you hit another car and your race is done such as charles leclerc did to max Verstappen in 2019. it's a sweeping corner and if you don't get your line right well you may just go off the track well, they say Sector 1 should be inspired from the Circuit of the Americas in Austin, Texas, United States of America. And this one is a pretty good one. I mean, the first sector of Kota is really good. The S's especially, you know, you have to have that balance on the car and uh, just a lot. You have to have the grip, the balance and the guts because not a lot of people really do that much lifting off but others choose to but you, you don't really lift off especially when you're on a qualifying lap you don't have to lift off anyway i'm not a formula one driver i can't uh, clarify on that but sector two inspired from the circuit de monaco in monaco and well sector two in monaco starts basically from um, Mirabeau until Tabak or the swimming pool chicane. Yes, the, until the swimming pool chicane. That is a very good part involving the tunnel, the novel chicane, uh, like I've said, Tabak, which is a very tight corner. And uh, how could I forget uh, the quite hated and infamous Lowe's hairpin? but at least you'd want to make it a bit faster because uh, that is the slowest corner in Formula One on the calendar. Sector three, to be inspired by Silverstone, the iconic Silverstone, the birthplace of the Formula One World Championship. This one is fair enough because Silverstone has got a great sector three, 
that begins from chapel all the way to the start finish line and yes i've already said chapel yes that's well the exit of maggots and beckett's which is another another pair of good s's corners and test the balance of the car uh, if you have enough grip well you should get there safe and sound but if you don't have the grip or the balance well i hate to break it to you but you won't be uh, having any good times but uh, there's also a lot you've got the hangar straight where there's a lot of great overtaking that happens especially going into stow and then you have got the chicane at the end there the veil chicane and then you've got village or club corner uh, i've mixed up the two but yes sector three from silverstone the long straights most tracks need a back straight uh, there's the main straight and the back straight most tracks have a back straight air yeah, maybe not monaco but a track that has that doesn't really have a back straight it does have a back straight but the back straight is shorter than the main straight and of course if you've thought about it by now it has to be the baku city circuit in azerbaijan it's a very very long straight and i mean the fastest speed record one of the fastest speeds record in recorded in formula one was on this straight uh, it was a uh, red bull or williams one of the two uh, these cars would even reach 370 to some extent because it is a very long straight and i mean uh, from what i remember doing in 2018 or 17 i think it was i once tried to count how many seconds the drivers were on full throttle for from the time they exited that last proper turn we exclude the kink that's on the straight from the time they exited that corner uh, before the kink on the uh, on the main straight that was about 24 seconds that must have been 2017 because those cars were also fast but maybe 2018 as well the final section of the track to be inspired by no other than interlagos interlagos has got a very nice uh track i mean you've got the infield you've got the senses you've got so many good corners in on interlagos and well a series of medium speed corners sector 3 basically starts from that point where felipe massa lost his championship to a certain british guy in 2008 uh, yes from that point on until the finish line it's not really that much of sector 3 but uh it's well it is crazy enough if you do get a great run you can just beat the driver ahead whether it's for the win second place third place or for the last point or even as useless as 17th place the pit lane this one i think it's quite obvious i mean a lot of people have expressed especially the new fans they have expressed their love for the underground pit line in abu dhabi the yas marina circuit and uh, well not necessarily an underground pit line but an underground sort of pit exit and the pit facilities as well i mean it's quite a nice uh, pit exit i mean their infrastructures are quite good and well it is pretty good let me not lie about that runoff areas and safety from the circuit Gilvina, canada which is where we were from before the spanish grand prix this one yeah, i don't really know about it i don't really know how good canada's runoff area, runoff areas are I, okay i do know but i know that they aren't really the best i think that tracks that have got better runoffs i mean you could look at well so many tracks on the calendar i can't even mention because there's a lot even former tracks uh but canada has got decent runoffs 
lastly we've got atmosphere and spectator experience when you think about atmosphere there's only one grand prix that comes to your mind and that has to be the italian grand prix where else at monza the atmosphere there is incredible the Tafosi are always there, except 2020, bit of 2021 as well. But the Tafosi never disappoint when it comes to that blockbuster atmosphere, that atmosphere you could cut with a knife. And they also, the AI also recommended the Marina Bay Street Circuit. Well, I haven't heard much about the spectator experience at uh, Singapore, but Singapore is at a very nice uh, track and I mean with the lights around I mean it is quite a good uh, race to go to if it's your first then it's it, amazing uh, I, that's if you do have the money for it because it's it's obviously an expensive Grand Prix to attend and well that is about it those are 10 points of the perfect Formula One track recommended and made up by chat gpt or let me just say artificial intelligence ai thank you guys so much for watching and if you did agree with most of these if not all of them please smash the like on the video if you want to see more ai related content more formula one content and motorsport in general subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you never miss out thank you so much for watching